This is video 10.1. In it, we will solve a problem involving balancing forces. The question. We have a block of mass 100 kilograms that hangs in equilibrium, supported by the three ropes as shown in the diagram below. We'd like to know what are the tensions in rope 1 and rope 2. Now the first step is to examine the equilibrium conditions. Equilibrium requires that the net force is equal to zero. And therefore, that the x and the y component of the force are equal to zero. Equilibrium also requires that the net torque is equal to zero, but there are no torques in this problem. Next, we'll decompose and balance the forces. We'll start with the x-coordinate. Here I've labeled the forces as force 1, 2, and 3, which correspond to the rope. Force 1 is only in the x direction, and it pulls to the left. Therefore, the x component of force 1 is equal to minus the tension in rope 1. Force 2, which pulls the block in the right direction, is equal to the tension in rope 2 times the cosine of the angle 50 degrees because the horizontal component is adjacent to the angle. And force 3 has an x component equal to 0 because it's in the vertical direction. Since equilibrium requires that the net horizontal force is equal to 0, it implies that the sum of the components is equal to 0, which implies that the tension in rope 1 is equal to the tension in rope 2 times the cosine of the angle. This gives us one equation. And now we'll work on the y-coordinate. Because rope 1 is in the horizontal direction, its y-component is 0. The y-component of force 2 is equal to the tension times the sine of the angle. And the y-component of force 3 is equal to the weight of the block, mg. Because this is an equilibrium, the total vertical component is equal to zero. So the sum is equal to zero, which implies that the tension in rope two times the sine of the angle is negative mg. Now we know the mass and we know the acceleration due to gravity, so we can determine the, deten the tensions. Plugging in this information, we get the tension of rope 2 to be 1,280 newtons. Now we'll go back to the relationship we found by examining the x components, the T1 equals T2 cosine theta, which implies after we plug in 50 degrees, the tension in rope 1 is 823 newtons. Because we found the tension in rope 1 and the tension in rope 2, this concludes video 10.1. Check out PhysicsX on the app stores. This revolutionary physics app for smartphones and tablets contains over 100 videos and 500 multiple choice questions designed by education experts. It's been proven to improve scores for intro college physics, AP physics, MCAT physics, and more. Just look for the blue icon.